what's up everybody I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how I made my very easy to build foam board FPV plane basically this plan is called the FPV 40 this is not my plan just a disclaimer I got this online by a youtuber that's called project flight design this is his plan but I just wanted to make a more intuitive video on how to make it basically so like I said this is the plan um, all you need is a uh, Dollar Tree foam board or you can get one from Michaels or uh, I guess Home Depot I guess if they carry it this is a 30 by 20 foam board um, you're gonna need one of this and then also um, some Home Depot half inch insulation foam or if you can't get a hold of that you're gonna need another one of this to basically make the KFM airfoil so what you want to start off is basically mark your outline where you're gonna be cutting at the bottom corner of this board you're gonna start off right here that's gonna be zero you're gonna want to mark that right above it it's gonna be two inches next mark you're gonna make is eight 20 and then 22 all right and then you're gonna flip the board around and you're gonna make the exact same mark starting at 0 2 8 20 and then 22 and then after you're done marking those out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect all the lines basically from zero to 22 on the other side, and then you're just gonna follow that line, okay? So the next line will be the two inch mark, going across to the 20 inch mark, eight inch, going to the eight inch, 20, to the 2 and then 22 to the 0 and what that makes is basically two halves of a wing so you're gonna have your left wing right here then right above that is gonna be your right wing and once you got it all cut out what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both wings and glue it together right down the center and I'm gonna show you the finished product here in a little bit so like I said, the highlighted red lines are going to be your cut lines. Basically those are the lines that you're going to want to cut. Do not cut this one because what that is, that's going to be your aileron, okay? It's going to be your control surface. So you're going to cut the red line, the line from 0 to 22, you're going to cut that. And you can use this uh, spare down here as your... Uh, stabilizer vertical stabilizer basically on the wingtips and then you're gonna cut the line from 8 to 8 that's gonna cut out your uh, left wing section and then again you're gonna cut the bottom line okay from 22 to 0 so those are the three cuts that you're gonna make and you can see it right there one wing and then another wing all right and I'm gonna show you the finished product. And here's the finished product. Basically, I've glued the two halves of the wing together, as you can see, already painted. Um, so what this basically is, is this wing, is this side, and then you're gonna glue the two halves together, okay? And then as I've said, you could either use a half inch uh, Home Depot insulation foam as your KFM airfoil, all right, that's basically just a 50% uh, grade right there along the wing from the leading edge. Or you can have another one of this uh, quarter inch foam board and you can just layer it on top of each other. That's what I did since I couldn't get a hold of a half inch uh, insulation foam. All right, and the way I mounted my motor is basically a dowel rod right down here 
super glued down. So basically the way the motor mount goes is you have three pieces, that's the motor. Um, this is the way I did it anyway. I'm pretty sure there's more than one way to mount your motor onto this wing. I got this from a uh, online store. It's just basically a motor mount that goes on a square stick. If I can get it on there, like so. All right, and I just cut out a small outline in there and then this stick is basically recessed into the foam and then glued in. And it's plenty sturdy. All right guys, so I'm using a 10 inch prop. You're gonna have to cut this out also. That's gonna be up to you basically on your power setup and your motor setup to make sure that you have enough space in there clearance for the type and size of prop that you're gonna be using. Once you have the whole plane built, before you start cutting out the electronics, um, where they're going to be laid out, what I advise is basically just kind of tape them down to make sure that you get the CG properly. Because with the wings, they are they are very wing, um, CG sensitive, so you have to make sure that it's on point. And for this wing platform, the CG is 8.25 inches from the leading edge back so you're basically going to measure from up here the very tip of the nose 8.5 inches back and that's going to be your cg what you're going to want to do is lay out all your electronics um, batteries fpv stuff everything including your props and your motor and balance everything out if it's a little bit too front heavy then you're going to want to adjust everything once you find all that stuff out just outline everything and then cut it out and then you are good to go. And the way I have my electronics laid out is basically uh, I have my camera front, my battery is right there. It's a little bit recessed. I basically just cut out the two uh, quarter inch foam and that way it's settled in there. Keeps it a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, this is my FPV uh, transmitter right there. A little bit recessed also. This is the balance lead that powers the transmitter. Uh, my <clears throat> nine gram servos a little bit recessed same on this side the ESC is on this side of it all taped down and then there's my radio receiver all right and then it just powers everything right there all right if you guys have any questions about this setup let me know leave a comment down below and if this was helpful uh, please subscribe and like all right thank you